find unused code, productivity for React, integration with Angular's ng-add and schematics, improvements to testing, let's take a look at what's new in WebStorm 2018.2. Modern web projects mean lots of evolving code. It's easy to lose track of what lines are in use. 2018.2's new code coverage feature highlights unused code in your client-side app. First, create a JavaScript debug run configuration and specify the URL for your app. For example, the Create React App dev server. Now run that configuration, but use the Run with Coverage button. Next, use the browser to do some operations in your app, but skipping a code path. Then, stop your run session. The coverage report now opens, showing statistics about coverage per file. Also, the editor's gutter highlights the unused code. React is the leading web front-end framework, and in 2018.2, WebStorm adds several quite useful features. We all write lots of React components and extract new ones as we refactor. Let WebStorm do the tedious work for you. First, select the code and run Refactor Component to make a new component. Also, WebStorm finds the needed props, such as a click handler, and passes them in with generated prop types. You can then use the move refactoring to make a new file. A new file is created with needed imports and an export. The parent components file is then updated to import the new component. Want to customize the generated code? The file and code templates preference Let's you generate a pure component, component, or React component, as well as arrow functions and prop types. This alone is a big productivity win. 2018.2 also makes it easy to switch a component from a functional component to a class-based component, then back again. Finally, WebSworn 2018.2 ships with a library of over 50 code snippets for React. For example, the RCJC Live template will generate a class-based React component, prompting for input during creation. React isn't the only big web framework getting attention in 2018.2. WebStorm also adds improved support for the latest Angular features. Angular CLI recently introduced ng-add, and WebStorm's UI can now use it, for example, to add a dependency for Angular material. This downloads packages and runs an uninstall script called a schematic to configure into your local project. The Angular Material ng-add results in several previously manual steps. Styles in Angular.json, modules in app module, HTML packages, and CSS changes. Next, Angular's new schematics feature can generate components, directives, services, and more. WebStorm's UI now lets you discover schematics, and generate app features, such as a material dashboard, providing parameters along the way. Writing tests has always been much easier with WebStorm's Visual Test Runner, and 2018.2 adds a convenient new feature, Rerun Failed Tests. Open a Karma, Mocha, or Jest test in WebStorm, and run a collection of tests containing a failed test. When you want to focus on the failures, use the Rerun Failed Tests action via a button, find action, or shortcut, thus speeding up your test fix cycle. Also in this release, just snapshot failures gain a link to view the snapshot diff. WebStorm 2018.2 brings many improvements across many parts of the IDE. Coverage, React, Angular, testing, and more. We hope you enjoy this release, and thanks for watching this What's New video.